All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be building a 500 watt solar system. This is going to be an easy DIY project. And if you follow along, I'm going to show you step by step on how to do it. So let's get started. All right, guys, I'm going to do a brief overview of the things we have sitting here. Most of this we will be using for our build. Some of it we will not. All right, first and foremost, we have the battery. This was important for my build because I needed something that was going to last. And with this 200 amp hour battery, I get just that. This is everything. This is basically the heart of the system. So this is going to be the most expensive part of your build. Next, we have some Z mount brackets. Now, these are the brackets I'll be using for my solar panels to mount them on the roof. So you mount your panel on this side. It's got these little ledges that it butts up against. And then these two holes are to mount to your roof. All right, next we have the battery shunt. This is the Victron. I'm not sure which one this one is. I think it says the 702. It might be 712. I don't know. I will leave a link in the description to which one this one is. It does have the display and the Bluetooth dongle so that I can connect it to my phone. Okay, next I have these various wires. I also have a bucket of various wires over here as well. All right, this little guy. This is great so that you don't get sparks when you connect your inverter to your battery. So basically this precharges the capacitors in your inverter. Okay, here we have various breakers. These breakers are pretty good. I think they're audio breakers, but they work. I hadn't had any issues out of them. I've used them quite a bit. But this is a 40 amp and it trips right there. Okay, we are going to be using these. This is 40 amp breakers. These are mini DC breakers. And they have like a little rail that they connect to. And then over here is a 15 amp fuse for the positive on the panels. And then this is for the inverter connection. That's going to go on the positive side of the battery and inverter. Okay, here we have the Renogy Rover 40 amp MPPT charge controller. These things are awesome. These will do 12 or 24 volt systems. At 12 volt, you can hook up 500 watt PV. At 24 volt, you can hook up 1000 watt PV. So, highly recommend these. And this is the Bluetooth dongle for the charge controllers. They all connect to your phone. They have a special app for them so that you can monitor everything. Really like that. And then that's just a temperature sensor for your charge controller and battery. We're not going to be using this, but I did want to include it in the video because for you guys with boats and RVs, this is important because this is your 12 volt distribution box. And as you can see, you have fuses for each circuit. So you can add this to your system to protect your 12 volt circuits. Here I got a 2000 watt inverter. It's just a cheap one I found at a secondhand store. I literally paid like 10, $15 for this thing. So I've tested it, it works great. All right, last up, this is completely optional. This is a transfer switch. So you hook grid power into it, you hook power from your inverter into it, and then you have an output. This gives me a peace of mind. So in my case, this is a must. So this is optional, but it's great to have. I have these scrap pieces of wood that all I did was scab them together to give me something to work with. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to mount this stuff on this board in a way that works for us. Those right there. All right, we got some screws. Just going to put some screws in this so we can hold it in place. Alright, that's not going nowhere. Alright, we got that mounted. That should line our positives right up to our positives, our negatives right up to our negatives. Now this is going to be negative for the battery connection for the charge controller. So negative on battery is all the way over here. Put 
that right there. And we'll probably have this shunt just like that. We'll just lock it down right here. And I'm just going to use some scrap wire. We have the breakers hooked up for PV and battery on the charge controllers. I know they're upside down, but now I should be able to flip that on for solar, flip that on to turn my charge controller on. Now then I'm going to have that come around and connect to the positive. This will be the positive and this will be the negative. We'll go ahead and connect the negative on this inverter since it's on the bottom. Put the protective cap back on it. Now we have our wire for the inverter. And we'll put one over here. These extension cord ends, just like so. And then we can so I'm hooking the line in on the inverter and then the neutral. And then for output, here's a plug for an output. So we're going to use here's the neutral. Here's the line. Okay, got those. In. And this will be to plug into the power from the shop. So this is going to be my grid power. Again, neutral goes in here. Line goes in here all right all that's hooked up right there now let's twist these grounds together this device does not have a ground spot so we will just twist the grounds together i think we're ready to mount this on the wall i already got it mounted up on the wall got the battery down there now we just got to finish connecting everything up. We can go ahead and hook up the temperature sensor. This plugs in right here. And we'll just drop it down here. All right, we got the Bluetooth for the charge controller. There we go, we got the Bluetooth there. And this is what we're going to use for the positive. This little guy goes in here just like so. So left is negative. Stick that right in there. And tighten it up. Alright, the negative goes on the negative side of the shunt. Plug in the power for the battery shunt. Right here's the communication wire. It just plugs in right there. So we need this positive, this positive, this positive, all hooked up to the same location, which would be right here. Just like so. All right, we have everything positive that needs to be positive there. Now then, let's get our inverter connected. It's tight. Now then, here's the pre-charge on the inverter. You just take and loop your wire around like that. We're just touching it, and that gives it enough pre-charge to where when we take it loose, it doesn't spark when we connect our 
stuff or grid power to the transfer case. We're going to do this by just simply plugging this in. Alright, this is charge controller, inverter, transfer switch. It says DC to AC, so that means we're running off a of battery. Alright guys, the only thing left to do is to hook up solar panels. I went ahead and took the time to mount these brackets on these panels. Super simple. They just go just like that. You have the bolt. On the back side you have flat washer, lock washer, and a nut. Alright, so time to get these panels on the roof. Let's see if I can just slide it. Right there. Positive to positive. All right, guys, nothing's being pinched. Everything's looking good. Perfect. Got it. I'm trying to spread my weight out. Now we have the positive and negative to our panels. And we're going to connect them right here where our positive and negative are. You can see it shows a moon for no solar. Just flip the solar breaker on, showing a sunshine, 65.9 volts. All right, that's pretty good, about 17.5 amp. That's pretty good for 4, 4.30 in the evening. Hell, it might even be 5 o'clock. But that is 125 watts coming in. Assuming the deep freeze is using up the remaining. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this video. If you got any questions, drop them down in the comments. I'll answer them as quick as I can. But that's how you do it. 500 watt solar system. We got it all hooked up. If you'd like, subscribe. Keep up with this channel. I'll be posting some updates about this system. See how well it works. See if I have to change anything. Or does everything work perfect? I don't know. We'll find out. If you would like to check out any of these products that you've seen in the video, Look down in the description and I will have links to all these products. Alright guys, till next time, peace.